Also, it's hard to lose plastic free, eh, Miriam? It is pretty hard to lose plastic free, must I? Mm. Do you want to know how I do it? Yeah. Well, I do a lot of research into businesses and shops where I can buy products that don't have packaging. Oh. Places that might have bulk bins and things so I can buy food and take my own paper bags to fill them. And even like uh, bakeries. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can shop plastic free at bakeries? Yeah, because bakeries taste. So bakery bags are paper. They are paper. And even like hot hot chocolate lids, recycle them, they I mean compost cups. You can compost cups, can't you? Some of those takeaway cups. But you know what? I don't even get the takeaway cups. I've got my own keep cups when I go and buy a coffee. I take my own cup and I can keep reusing it and reusing it. And even you can get metal, like, like brown and white. You can, yeah. My one's glass, even. And it has cork on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And even some coffee cups, you don't even need to put it in the bin. Oh. Not if you take it home and wash it and reuse it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can take your own coffee beans and make your own coffee. What can you do with the coffee grounds? Then you can drink them. After you've drunk them? Do you throw them in the bin? Yeah. Where you would can you put them? Keep, put them in your... Thank you then. Wash them up and put them in the cup and keep using them again and again and you know, again. You know the best way to reuse them yeah. is to put them on the garden. You can put them in your compost or you can put them directly around your plants. Worms love coffee grounds. Ah. Mm. You can even put them in your toilet, composting toilet. You have a composting toilet. So, I know you're plastic free, so what do you use any plastic that you compost or recycle? Uh, I try to avoid buying any plastic at all. Sometimes it's unavoidable because plastic is everywhere. Sometimes you just have to buy it. And then I do try to buy plastic that I can recycle. Because you've got to check. You can't recycle all plastic, can you? Yeah. Yeah, you've got to no. check with your with your recycling centre and see what they take. So I, I only buy that. So, mm. and, like, even compost plastic. Hey. Like I asked it in the last Plastic. So, Com about composting plastic? Yeah. Yeah, well, you can buy plastics that are made from plants. I know. And those are ones that can break down over a really long period of time in a compost. Or if it goes into a commercial composter, then they can compost it really quickly. Like, like, well, sometimes you can get cloth compost that you can compost. You only need it to compost in one second. What what what's the bad thing about plastic do you think? If people just left it everywhere? Uh maybe pollution? Yeah. But it's good pollution. So then it makes cars stop and the petrol tax. Then it blows those cars and gaps in the petrol down to the cups and the cars. It does? Yeah, well, plastic is made from petrochemical industry. Petrol's what make our cars go. 
most of the rubbish that we put out each week at the gate that goes straight into landfill. So it can't break down, it can't be composted as plastic. And the number one is sometimes you have to throw plastic in the sea. Well, you don't have to, but lots of plastic does end up in the sea. Do you think that's very good for all the all the fish and the all the mammals that live in the sea, the dogs and the whales and the turtles and things? Yeah. No, it's not very good for them, especially if they end up eating it. Well, we we do end up eating it as well because the fish eat it, and then we eat the fish. Yeah. So it ends up back in our system too. Mm. And plastic isn't very good for you. It's not very good for your health, which is another reason why I avoid plastic. It can make you, it can make you pretty sick. But it can mm. make you die. But only if you eat lots of it, you can die. Well, the thing is that we do. We use plastic all the time. It's wrapped around all of our food and we're eating that food, it's going into our system. So yeah, I think it is, we're absorbing chemicals from plastic a lot, every day. We are trying to do that too. Mm -hmm. And that might be why we live in the tin. Because have got chemicals and then mm. the plastic ends up getting painted and drooled on and then yeah. Yeah, chemicals aren't really good for you, are they? No. Mm. What about living in a house instead of in trees? How good is that? Yeah. How does it feel? Well, I've never lived in trees before, so I don't know. But it does feel good. Mm. And you, everything in the trees is really made of wood. Everything. No plastic in trees, is there? Yeah. No. That has to be pretty good for you. Yeah. I bet you feel very strong and healthy. Yeah. Mm. And anyway, uh, maybe if you like, you can come and see what's in our van. Because you actually, this is a thing that I could probably bring out here. Because I have got a really cool, cool booth to see. Like round the side, it's all like rock. But it's actually plastic. The only way to get rid of it is turning it to compost. Well, you know what, Marshall? You can't actually compost plastic because it doesn't break down completely. You can compost what they call bioplastics or plastics made from plants. Yeah. But true plastic made from petrochemicals, you can't. It breaks down. It can go into the soil, but it just ends up polluting it. Because it's got all those chemicals it, leaching into the and soil. And then it ends up into the sea. Yeah, that's right. And then it goes round and round mm. into the petrol tank and then keeps going into the sea. And then keeps uh, making the fish die. And then at the recycling centre, it's got dolphins with pictures saying, Every year, fish, animals, die in the sea mm -hmm. every year. Have you seen that one at the environment? Yeah. I mean, at the extreme race? Yeah, I have. There's lots and lots of different animals die from plastic, from eating it or getting caught up in it. Yeah, birds. Fish, sea mammals, thousands and thousands every year. It's very sad. Like, and it says 
thousands of sea mammals, mammals every year get killed in the sea. What's the best thing do you think that we can do to stop that from happening? Ah, uh, like fishing boats, fishing out plastic. What about what we could do on land uh, to stop the plastic getting into the sea in the first place? Like, like you know these people going around with rubbish bins that are made out of plastic with wheels collecting all the plastic on land. Yeah. Collect all the plastic? Yeah. With rubbish bins mm -hmm. like these men collecting plastic with rubbish bins that's been on the floor. And what do you think would be a good way to stop them getting the plastic getting on the floor in the first place? Well, I meant my, Nicole has a good thing to make it out of metal. She can make like swans out of uh, ginger beer lids, like those ginger beer lids of small bottles, mm -hmm. ginger beer bottles and she can make ones out of them. So if we use other things instead of plastic, like Nicole does, yeah. we're not using plastic, we're not going to be dropping it, are yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. jars and tins that is plastic free. And then... Yeah. What's that made out of? Metal. This is my um, my food container so I can put leftovers in here. I can take my lunch and, and that. And you can make... And you can make... And, and you can make this into the oven to heat some plastic jars. Some, yeah, that's right. That's my food mixer. Is this tape in plastic tape? On the outside it might be, yeah. This is this is for my soda stream. It's mostly made of metal, but this is so that I don't buy any bubbly water, any fizzy water or fizzy drinks in single-use plastic bottles. I can just make my own fizzy water. And even if you do get some fizzy drinks, you can get a funnel and then pour them into deer. I wouldn't do that, I don't think. Oh. And, does that look like it's got plastic on it? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? This isn't plastic, it's called, um, something called cellophane, which is a paper made from cellulose from plants, and you can compost that. Um. Anything else interesting? Oh, this is interesting. This is toilet paper that I use to give green cane a bit of a plug. That is cellophane as well. You can compost all of this packaging. And even that. Even is. that. Yep, that will break down in the compost. The toilet paper. The toilet paper would break down in the compost too, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, without even tearing it, you can put it straight in the compost. You could, yeah, I, I wouldn't put my toilet paper in my compost, but 
if you had a composting toilet, you could. Yeah. Yeah. And you could, but first, and it, the coolest thing is when you have sharp stuff, for when you're finished taking it, you can put it under the sharp stuff and then move it straight away. Mm -hmm. I think there's one other thing that we haven't talked about, and this is my, this is what I drink water from. I don't use plastic at all to drink water. From. I've got metal bottles that I use. Um, yeah, and they're completely reusable and they're pretty tough. Um, and they don't have any chemicals going into the water. And um, what, like, one time we were at Four Square and then we wanted to get water mm -hmm. and then it was all this, the water was wrapped in as plastic. And we had to mm -hmm. buy plastic. Lots of all water, I think, comes in plastic, unfortunately. There's not too many that comes in anything else. But mm. if some water just comes out of taps, like that's the, probably the best way, isn't like it? The, like the one next to the way to get down to the uh, op shop in, in the Raglan is got a power, a power tap. So when you turn it on, it goes right high up. And one time I was drinking on, on it and it went right up my nose and on my Spider-Man t-shirt. Oh, no. Do you know what's in this bag, Must I? No. This is all of the rubbish. So this is stuff that can't be composted or recycled. It has to go into the landfill. I collected over a year of being plastic free. buying or accidentally bought. And um, look at this. You see, what have we got? Yeah, this is um, flea treatment for my cat. Can only get it in plastic. Couldn't avoid that one. Yeah, and look, I've got lots of cat food. That's because my cat has had to go on a special diet for a little while and it only came in plastic, so I didn't have a choice there either. What the mm. buy? things inside you've eaten it all. That was, I think somebody must have brought around a bottle of bubbly wine and even though it looks like on the cork it's metal, it's actually, let's look, I'll show you, it's plastic lined. If you just tear it a bit, can you see the plastic? I can't even tear it because it's full of plastic. Can you see that in there? It's like we've got a plastic lining on the metal, so I need to get that. And even mm. this is painted. Yep, that is the flea treatment. But I wouldn't, probably wouldn't touch that much. I will put the lid back on. It's for the cat. Yeah, lots of plastic because of the cat, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that was from. It might be that sometimes packaging looks plastic free and then you open it up and there's packaging inside the outer packaging. And it happens to be plastic, and that happened to me a few times. I got tricked. Do you know what all these are? Mm. Yeah. Look at they? And this? Yep, it's the same thing. Do you know what they are? No. They're receipts. And even though they look like paper, you can't recycle it because it's um, thermal paper and it has plastic in it. And this? That was from when I wasn't feeling very well and I had headaches things like that. So yes, um, pill packs are all plastic. That's not the concrete and even these two. Yeah. They're matching so we put them together. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Packaging. Packaging. Yeah, it's a courier bag. So I've had people oh, send me presents and things and forget that I was plastic free. Sort it for me. Yes, so mm. these are matching together. So put them together and cut and then we'll put this matching over here with 